All right, everybody, look, my name is Tommy, and I am with Z Grills, and we are going to kick off the holiday season with some lollipop lamb chops. So, look, I am going to keep this show as simple as possible, man. It is time for you to up your holiday game, and this is certainly going to do the trick. I will have this video broken down into two sections. The first section is going to be opening, cleaning, prepping and smoking the lamb chops and the second section is taking a classic lollipop lamb chop and kicking it up a couple notches but look before all that the first thing we got to do is head on over to our z grills 1102b load it up with some cherry pellets and fire that bad boy up All right, guys. Look, we got our uh, we got our Z all fired up. Now, look, we are going to want to run this at the smoke setting. We are going to want to put down as much smoke on these bad boys as we could. But before all that, we have to open these up. Now, these here are Australian, and they are already French. If you could find them French, definitely get them French. What basically what that means is in between the bones here is all cleaned out. Because if you got to do it yourself, I mean, you can, and there are plenty of videos showing you how. It is just a little bit of a pitta. Guys, and of course, always remember as your uh, as your Z grills fires up and it starts laying down that heavy smoke, you always want to open up the hood. Alrighty, and look, this is going to be your basic rack of uh, lamb, no matter if it's an American, a New Zealand, or Australian. And sometimes you are going to have this fat cap on it, and basically to get this off, you're just going to pull it. is a little slippery so just take your time there you go and that is basically the fat cap right there so looking from there what you want to do if you have any hard fat like over here you can uh, take that off You just want to be very careful, man, because the meat is, uh, there's not that much on here, so you do not want to strip any away like you would, say, a brisket. And you can just kind of go right under there with your knife. just slowly peck away at that silver skin and look a, uh, a little fat left on is okay she will render down you just want to try to get most of that silver skin off and anything really hard and as you can see I am going very very slow and of course a sharp knife definitely helps so guys, look, as far as the seasoning in this step, I'm going to go with a light coat of salt, pepper, and granulated garlic. I always have a recipe down in a description. What I do basically, like I always say, I make up a, I buy the stuff in bags from Amazon. It's not that expensive. I'll mix up, you know, uh, about a pound of it, half pound, whatever, and I'll fill my uh, little container here. That way I always have it. And a little tip, the longer the salt, pepper, and granulated garlic sits and mixes together, the more flavor it takes on. And again, you don't want to go heavy, but put a nice, uh, nice coat on it. And of course, we are outside, so we are playing the wind. <laughs> yeah, not playing to wind, but playing the wind. 
guys and basically that is it that is step one and what we are going to do we are going to get our z's on the smoke setting because we want to lay down as much smoke on these uh on these chops as we can and we want to bring these up to about 105 110 no more than that and after that i'll show you the next step All right, guys, and look, that is all to it, and I will see you in about an hour. All right, guys, look, we're sitting at about an hour and 20 minutes, and we are perfectly at that 110 internal. And I can tell you, I've been watching, and the Z Grill has definitely been laying down the smoke. Let's go in, let's get them on the board where they will rest for about 10, 15 minutes. So look, like I said, these will sit here. These will rest for about 10, 15 minutes or so. We want those juices to settle. In the meantime, what I am gonna do is I am gonna set up my little workstation here and get us going for the next step. All righty, guys, welcome back. And as you can see, I got a, a little mini workstation going on here. We got some Dijon mustard, some panko breadcrumbs. You're gonna need some fresh mint which is gonna take us to our first step here. You wanna give this a uh, just a loose chop, no big deal. If you've never had lamb with mint, you are definitely missing out. So basically here, what we're looking to do first is we are looking to season up our breadcrumbs. which is basically gonna consist of some fresh mint and also my uh, black pepper granulated garlic and kosher salt. Take care of that as I am still playing the wind. And the next step here is we have our uh, lamb that has been sitting for the uh, perfect uh, 10, 15 minutes or so. We wanna uh, slice that up into little lollipops. And now remember, these are still uh, still in the stage of, uh, you know, well under medium rare to the rare, as you can see, which is perfect. So basically what you want to do is get that Dijon mustard. Now look, anytime I am doing a recipe like this and I am working a uh, saute pan as this is here, I like to get everything prepped out, everything ready. I do not want to do, you know, one or two or three chops, put them in the saute pan. I like to get everything prepped out and then go on to the next step, which is going to be the saute pan. And you can see we are getting a little bit of that mint on there along with the uh, panko. Look, let me clean up this mess here. We will get a temperature reading on our pan here and we will finish these. All right, guys, so look, once your temp in the pan hits, you know that four and a quarter or 450, it is time to drop the chops. And basically you are looking just to, uh, just to cook the outside panko breadcrumbs. Once you brown those nicely, kind of like a, uh, if you were doing a, uh, a breaded pork chop, once those are browned nicely, the uh, inside is gonna be perfect at that medium rare, trust me. And right away you get a uh, you get the smell of the mint leaves with the uh, with the Dijon mustard. Oh yeah. So basically, like I said, from here it could you know could take two, two, three, four minutes, whatever it takes, depending on how hot your pan is. And that there is about two minutes on the clock and I gave it a little bit of peak.
and of course the uh, the uh, thicker the chop you may want to leave those in a little bit longer depending on how you want yours cooked there's nothing better than a uh, than a crunchy panko breadcrumb just kind of work them you could see when they're not quite cooked yet compared to when they are cooked So guys, I will finish. Uh, I will finish sautéing these here. I will clear out my uh, little workstation, and then I will give you a little insight on how I may plate these up. So guys, if you want to stand the chops up, you're going to lay one down, and then you will just start laying the uh, other chops right on top. and just kind of work them off one another just like that. Now look, I am going to dress up the plate with a little fresh mint. And you can also do a loose chop and put a little mint on top. I got some nice rosemary. I'll do a, a little stalk on each side. And you got to have that fresh mint jelly that is going down. All righty, guys, and there you have it, man. This would be something the way I would set it up on my table. Maybe I'd have two or three of these laid out with, you know, four or five chops on each one. That way people can just kind of grab them and go. But look, of course, I have to do a on-screen taste test. And I am a big fan of mint on chops, so we will get a little bit of mint on there. Again, happy holidays to all. Wow. So I am telling you, man, this is absolutely incredible and it definitely screams to holidays. I mean, you got the outside crunchiness of the breadcrumbs. You get a little bit of that mint, a little bit of that mustard. And of course the lamb, which is just uh, through the roof in flavors. So look, man, definitely get out of your comfort zone and give this recipe a try. So look, check down in the description. Z Grills will have this recipe all blogged out. Press one button, go right to the uh, website, print it out, and get exactly everything that you need. And look, don't forget to check the Facebook and also the Instagram and the YouTube page. Z Grills has you covered to keep you smoking all winter long. So look, man, that is going to wrap up this one. Again, my name is Tommy. If there's anything you would like to see, leave it down in the description and I will see what I can do. Other than that, until next time, we will see you soon.